In this lesson, we're going to look at a to the power of 0. You might already recognise a to the power of 1 as another way of writing a, or 9 to the 1 as simply 9. But what happens when we have a to the power of 0 or 9 to the power of 0? What is the value of anything raised to the power of 0? I'd like to look at some regular division questions to help us solve this question. I'm sure you know that 274 divided by 274 is 1. Similarly, 19AB divided by 19AB is also 1. Whenever you divide anything by itself, the result that you get is always 1. There's one exception to this rule. You can't divide 0 by 0. That's meaningless. Now, Based on the principle that anything divided by itself equals 1, what do we get when we divide a to the m by a to the m? Once again, the answer is 1. But now let's look at a to the m divided by a to the m again, and this time use the index laws to solve the question. Remember, when dividing by terms with the same base, we subtract the indices. Here we have a to the m divided by a to the m. That equals a to the m minus m, which equals a to the 0. But we already know that a to the m divided by a to the m gave us 1. This means that a to the 0 must equal 1. We'll write this down as a general rule. a to the power of 0 equals 1 where a cannot equal 0. There is no meaning to 0 raised to the power of 0. You can check this new rule for yourself on your calculator. Enter any number, raise it to the power of 0, and see what you get. For example, 3 to the power of 0 equals 1. 27 to the power of 0 equals 1. 